Hey guys, this is Maria and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to use a scalping detector and the golden rules you should follow to get the best results plus a special tips. So make sure to watch up to the end. But first, please, if you haven't, subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell button so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you want more information about scalping detector, please check the link below. Now, let's begin. What exactly is a scalping detector? The scalping detector is the new forex tool that works on all pairs that provide buy and sell signals that no repaint and that works on the time frames of one minute and five minutes. So there is fast trades with great profit. Scalping detector can help you make great stable profit if used correctly. All you have to do to start winning more trades is follow these simple trading rules. Rule number one. Try to use the indicator primarily during the London, US or Asian sessions. It's okay to start trading even one to two hours before the opening. As with any trading tool, there is always more risk involved when trading outside the recommended London, US or Asian sessions because the market is usually weak. Rule number two. Before entering a trade or while in a trade, make sure to check news calendar. I personally use the Forex calendar Forex Factor. If you get a sign up from Scalping Detector and the above calendar shows that important news announcement is about to come, better avoid that sign. Big news can make the market go against you in no time. It's better to enter a trade when there are no news announcements or when the news are only with low importance, just like here. In Forex Factory, yellow means low impact, orange medium impact, and red high impact. You should avoid medium and high impact. If you are already in a trade and see that there is a highly important news announcement coming out soon that affects the pair you are trading on, it is often better to exit the trade as soon as possible. Rule number three, only follow signals that go in the same direction with the trend. How to determine the trend? I personally use the 200 exponential moving average in a time frame of four hours or in the daily chart. If the price is above the 200 exponential moving average, the pair is in an uptrend. If the price is below the 200 exponential moving average, the pair is in a downtrend. If the price has been going up, the trend is up. Follow only buy signals. If the price has been going down, the trend is down. Follow only sell signals. Don't enter trades when there is side trend, market has no clear direction, or if the signal is against the trend. Rule 4. Avoid opening a new trade until the previous trade on the same currency pair, or even better, across any of your active currency pairs, hasn't been closed. Ignoring this rule will break one of very important management rules. And rule 5. Enter trades as soon as a new buy or sell signal has been generated. Avoid entering trades later than 3 to 5 minutes from the time the signal was generated. Now, I will show you how I do this every single day. Please pay attention. The first thing I do is that I only work in the U.S. session because I live in America. Then I go and check the general trend. How do I do this? I go to the daily chart and insert the 200 exponential moving average. 
As I told you before, if the price is above the 200 exponential moving average, the pair is in an uptrend. If the price is below the 200 exponential moving average, the price is in a downtrend. Let's see the pound dollar. As you can see, the pound dollar is in a downtrend because the price is below the 200 exponential moving average. Then I go and check the economic news. Go to Forex Factory and check all the news for the day. As you can see, for the pound or for the US dollar, there is no important news coming up. So it's a good pair to trade. Then I choose the pair with a strong trend. For this, I use the ABX indicator. The default settings are 14 bars. And I follow this simple rule. If the ABX value is between 0 and 25, the strength of the trend is absent or weak trend. So I avoid trading. If the trend is if the ADX value is between 25 and 50, is a strong trend. 50 to 75, very strong trend. And 75 to 100, extremely strong trend. So I check the pound dollar, and as you can see, the value of the ADX is 25.22. That means it's a strong trend. So after analyzing this graphic, now I know there is no news coming up for the pound or for the US dollar. So it's a good time to trade. The trend is in a downtrend, so I will only follow the sell signals. And I know it's in a strong trend because the value of the ADX is 25.22. Now. I go and see the one minute chart or the five minute chart. In this time, I'm going to see the one minute chart. Then I choose the pair I want to trade. Scalping detector works best with these eight pairs Euro dollar, dollar yen, out yen, pound yen, kiwi yen. Pound dollar, euro out, or out dollar. I am trading the pound dollar. Here is the time frame of one minute, and I will only get sell signals. I will only trade sell signals, just like here. You can see this amazing sell signal that was sent, and that is still going on strong. Now I open the trade when the signal alert appears and the conditions are met. If all of these conditions that I told you before are met, I open the trade when the signal alert appears. Now I have to choose how to close the trade. I have several options. The first option is using the stop loss or take profit provided by the signal alert. No. Okay. Here is the signal alert wheel. As you can see, I can choose this price levels. As you can see, in here you will see the pair you are going to trade the time frame, the signal, a buy or a, or a sell, the entry price, the take profit, and the stop loss. If you are a new beginner, I highly recommend you use this exact price levels. The other option is using the stop loss or, no, sorry, the other option is Closing the trade near a strong support or resistance level. And the other option is when the smart exit, the smart exit is the new feature that scalping detector has that is really, really great.
they appear yellow stars and you should close the trade if you are a conservative trader when one or two yellow stars appear there is less risk but it's also less profitable or you can wait until the three four or five yellow stars appear there is more risk or there is more profit you can see here in the dollar pound signal you can hear the one star two stars three stars four stars so you can open the the trade here and close the trade here in the when the first star appear when the first yellow star appear or you can wait a little bit longer and close when the second appear when the second yellow star appear or the third yellow star appear or the fourth yellow star appear or wait until an opposite signal appear or the five yellow star appear as you can see the sell sign is really really strong and you can still be making money if you have trade this signal here and that's how i use and analyze my graphics every time i use scalping detector if you want more information of, about scalping detector please check the link also follow me in my social media and I hope to see you soon. Until next time, bye-bye.